diversity in move, moving sellers, individuals, entrepreneurs, and companies closer to their goals. With a stellar track record in speaking for renowned organizations such as LinkedIn, Salesforce, T-Mobile, Experian, Amazon, Cheryl Lynn's Experience is praised by event hosts, recognized as a top sales influencer by Salesforce and LinkedIn, named one of America's 2023 best sales speaker. I'm excited to hear her. She's an author best sell of a best-selling book. So MBN family, get ready to be captivated as Cheryl Lynn Kasman takes the stage to share her wisdom and ignite your passion for success. Cheryl Lynn, the floor is yours. Thank you, Tony. And thank you for that wonderful introduction. How much time do I have, Tony? You have 15 minutes. Okay. So, all right. So first of all, everybody, welcome and thank you for inviting me. I have been in sales since before Girl Scout cookies were 50 cents a box. And so stop counting on your fingers. It's been a really, really long time. And so it's the only thing that I've done. And so in addition to that, I've also been a global sales executive for Fortune 500 companies for over 30 years. And I have this vision and this mission where I want to see 1 million black and brown women a million, and I've accepted this challenge by 2030, sit at the table of their dreams. And by the table of their dreams, I mean the C-suite, their own entrepreneurial table, top of the leaderboard. So whatever table you wanna sit at, I can help you get there. So let me begin by asking you, how many, uh, what percentage of B2B buyers today expect you to show up as a trusted advisor? Just throw it in the chat for me real quickly. What percentage of B2B buyers expect you, if you're gonna to come to them with your business, to be a trusted advisor? Uh, what, what, what do we got there? Um, Tony, what are you saying? So most people say about half, maybe 70%. Vi, can I get the next slide, please? We're saying so, 100%, 50%. <laughs> 50%, 100%. Okay, if you want to know what's going on with sales, check out the state of the sales report that I worked on with Salesforce. 87%, that's almost all B2B buyers, expect you to show up as a trusted advisor. And so when I say trusted advisor, a lot of people say, okay, that's great, but what is that? And so I say it's a balance between your heart and your head. And I'm going to share with you just very quickly what I mean by that. And so when you say trusted, I mean you want to build a relationship and you want to do three things. First, you want to connect with people. And, and so what, I, what I'm telling you is that this is how I sell into these Fortune 100 companies, um, Spotify, Amazon, um, um, T-Mobile, Samsung, these are all my clients and you and I can teach you how to get in the door and sell to these clients by becoming a trusted advisor. And the first thing is building a relationship. So the first thing I want you to do is love yourself. You want to be authentic. You have to be in love with yourself. If you're in love with yourself, someone else will love you. Number two, and I know that you're, you're all entrepreneurs, you have to love your business and love your industry. And if you don't, then change what you're doing. So authenticity doesn't just mean loving yourself. It means loving your industry, loving your business, and love your clients. If you don't love what the client's doing, don't try to sell to them. And the third one is be an empathetic listener. And I'm gonna give you a quick tip here. Most of us, when someone starts talking, we do what I call level one listening. And it's like when you go to a restaurant and they say to you, do you want steak or salmon? Well, so many of us, and Vi, you can bring this slide down for me now. Um, you can just, I just want, and if you, and there's a QR code, no, not this, just just bring them all down. Just, I don't need them up there. And just, just get rid of the slides for me. Um, there we go, okay. 
So most of us do what I call level one listening. And level one listening is what is, is restaurant listening. And what restaurant listening is, you go into a restaurant and they ask you, do you want steak or salmon? And you start thinking in your head, do I want steak? I should, probably should eat more fish. You're not listening to the waiter. And most of us sell that way. As soon as a client starts talking, we start selling in our head. Level two listening is what I was taught. It's reflective listening. Client says, oh, we're struggling with the, the, the headwinds of the economy. And immediately you say, oh, I hear that you're struggling. Level three listening is listening between the words. It's listening for what the client is not saying. You want to listen for values, feelings, emotions. And the best way to do that is to quiet your brain. And I have a quick tip here for you. And it's taking a box breath. Once you take a deep breath in to the count of four, hold it to the count of four, blow it out to the count of four, and hold it at the bottom. When you do that, your heart rate slows, your blood pressure lowers, and you quiet your brain. And you then can listen to what the client's saying. So you want to build a relationship with the client. You want to connect with your clients. You want to be authentic and you want to listen. That's what you do to become trusted. And so people want to trust you. Now let's talk about how do you become an advisor and how you become an advisor is you have to immerse yourself in your client's world. So let me ask you, how many of you have seen the Amazon logo and you see the smile? Now we've all seen the smile. But how many of you know that that smile points from A to Z? Because Amazon sells everything from A to Z. How many of you have looked at the Tostitos logo and you'll notice there's a bowl of salsa right in the, in the Tostito logo? How about the Hershey Kisses logo? Between the K and the I, there's a Hershey Kiss laying on its side. Baskin Robbins has 31 flavors in the Baskin Robbins logo. And I tell you this because you will never look at those logos again the exact same way. Because once you immerse yourself in your client's world, you never can look at them that way. And so what I teach clients is how to read a 10K. It's a financial document. It's about 200 pages long. And I can teach you how to go through those financial documents in about 15 minutes. So that when you're calling on these companies, you know what's important to them and how to um, go to value line, which is our analyst reports. And every library has value line. I show you how to do that, how to download that, how to take information from value line, information from a, a 10K, and then how to do an incredible discovery interview and bring those together and develop your own point of view. Because if you show up with your point of view, you can say to them, hey, I have an idea to run by you. It doesn't matter if your point of view is right or wrong. What clients value is you showed up with, um, and I apologize. <laughs> um, I, um, I, uh, I apologize. Like baby. Sound like a yes, my granddaughter. Baby. Yes, my granddaughter. I, I came up here and, and it's, okay. Um, and so what, what you want to do is, can you imagine if you contacted the chief technology officer at a major Fortune 500 company and said, I have an idea to run by you and you quote things about that came out of their 10K or out of value line and how you can help them, they're gonna to listen to you. Nobody tells you no when you say, I have an idea to run by you. And so that's what I teach you. And that's how I have sold into the president at Experian, the president at T-Mobile, um, one of the, the, vice, the senior vice presidents at Amazon, uh, Walmart, these are all my clients. By developing my point of view, doing my research, immersing myself in the client's world, connecting with them, and then solutioning with them. You're not selling, you're solutioning with them. Every one of you has a product that they may be able to use. And so if you show up to solution with them, that is what I teach clients and that's what I do. So Stan and I have a couple offers for you. Um, and if you have any questions about how I do or what I've been doing, this is what I do. 
the number one salesperson at T-Mobile for Business is a black woman. She's a client of mine. I have a client who brought Google in to her company, a very small company. She brought Google in as a client. Um, and so I have clients, young SDRs, um, 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 sales development reps, 22 years old, that learned how to not just read this 10K, but she taught everybody in her company, including the chief revenue officer, how to do this. So a couple sure, offers I, I, I'm, I'm, I'm really excited to hear about this offer. Okay, so the first offer is Stan and I are going to teach a course on how to position yourself as a trusted advisor. We're gonna show you how to read these 10Ks, where to read where to find a value line, how to leverage artificial intelligence to help you position yourself as a trusted advisor. And this course, I usually charge $89 for, and I'm gonna waive the fee for the first 50 women who sign up for this course. So it is a course that I am waiving the fee, 50, first 50 women who sign up for the course. Um, this is what Stan and I are gonna teach you on how to become a trusted advisor and how to position yourself and sell your products into Fortune 100, Fortune 500 companies. Number two, I have a live full day training program that I'm doing in New York, Philadelphia, Chicago, Washington DC, and San Francisco in October and November. And I'm offering a 50% discount to M any um, M be in member. And so, uh, Vi, can you put up the slide for me with the QR code or the, uh, the last three slides for me, please? Um, and so here's what the offer is again. So on August 24th, Thursday evening, Stan and I are gonna show you how to become a trusted advisor and how to sell into the C-suite. The second offer is 50% off of my live event in five major markets. It's also gonna stream. So if you can't join me live, um, you can also stream it. Both both rates are 50% off and it's how to sell into the C-suite. How to sit at the table of your dreams is what I'm gonna be teaching you. And I will be joined by five of the top sales coach leaders in the country. Precious Williams, um, Donald Kelly, Liz Simpson, these are all top authors. They have best-selling books. They have podcasts. They are they speak and train in Fortune 100 companies. They are joining me on stage. This is being sponsored by LinkedIn, Experian, Salesforce, um, Owler, um, and they will be there with other executives to help you understand, to mentor you, to talk to you about how to get into these companies. All right. So, Brian, can you put that up real quickly? Let, yeah, we got it. Yeah. Jari's going to uh, work on getting that slide up for right, you. And up, um, up. Yeah, okay. And, and I'm going to tell you, Cheryl Lynn, I, I know I'm hosting. So, I was doing like level zero listening. <laughs> <laughs> but I heard you use the term 10K. Can you just repeat what 10K stands for, please? Okay. So, a, a form 10K. So, every publicly traded company must filed documents with the Security Exchange Commission. Their 10K is filed annually, um, usually about two or three months after the end of their year. Most companies file them in March. And so what I tell people is, if you want to sell into a publicly traded company, you have to know how to read their 10K. It's 200 pages, it's an annual report, there are no photos in it, and it makes most of us hyperventilate. But I can teach you how to read it in 15 minutes. I have a couple quick tips for you. I will teach you how to do that. So, and, and, and all publicly traded companies also file a form 10Q. This is a quarterly report. So if you're gonna sell into these large companies and you wanna know how they're dealing with the headwinds, you wanted to know how they were dealing with the pandemic, are they dealing with um, supply chain? It's all in there. Um, okay. And so all if right. you, you know, so that's what you can find out. So if you if you scan this QR code, so, you so will we're be able feedback, to get- Sherlyn, we're getting feedback that the QR code doesn't work. Yeah, I tried it as well. Uh, it didn't work for me either. All right. So I dropped, um, uh, and I thought- Did I you drop it in the chat? And that, I will drop it in the chat. Um, oh my goodness, you're right. I am, that is horrible. Okay, I will drop the link in the chat um, for you here. Um, We're about close to wrapping up here too. There we go. So okay, it's in there. Up. So yeah, so you see that um, the, QR, uh, the, the link is there. 
So if you'll just click on that, you'll be able to, um, you can get on my calendar, you can subscribe to my newsletter, you can get the discount code to, to, come, to, to come live, and you can also register to spend this hour with Stan and I, and we will show you how to position yourself as a trusted advisor. And thank you guys for listening, and thank you, Stan, for giving me this opportunity. Thank you, thank you. Now, I, I, I do have an issue as a host. Why the guys don't get to be in the first 50 that register? Ah. So I'll tell you why, all right? So one of the things that I tell people is you can't be everything to everybody. Everybody. And, and, I, yeah, and, and, and so I can tell you that I want a million women to sit at the table of their dreams. Nothing about the guys, nothing wrong with the guys, but I want a million women to sit at the table of their dreams. And another thing I will tell you is um, Harvard Business Review did a study and said that women outsell men. Oh, so, I, absolutely, I believe uh, that. So, so, so what I tell men, and so I do coach a lot of men, um, but I do tell men you need to learn to sell like a woman. So if you want to learn to go. sell like a woman, um, come to my live event or join us. And 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 a couple of the coaches who will be training are men. So I do have male and, and female trainers. So. Well, I want to thank you and I want to thank all of our featured speakers for uh, coming on tonight and adhering to the time. We had a great time. Business owners, join a professional network that will help you share the unique value of your products and services with black and brown customers who have more than $1.6 trillion to spend on an annual basis. Join the Matthews Business Network and get the coaching, the clients, the connections, and the capital you need to succeed, to get growing right now. If you like the content, make the connection, subscribe now so that you can continue to get updated about all of the opportunities, all of the praise reports, all of the great leaders that we bring here to you in the GBC, the global black and brown community in the shop black news. We'll see you soon and we'll see you over the top. Yes, you.